Hello everybody, in this video we're taking a look at a Gardner 6 LXB which is just about to come into our workshop. It belongs to a local haulier who owned the laureates from originally before passing into private hands and has since brought it back to go into their historic vehicle fleet. This engine is from a 1972 Atkinson Borderer. It's believed to be the original engine and it has been suggested that this engine has done around 1 million miles and as far as we know has never been to pieces. A bit later in the video we'll take a look and explain how to find the engine number and from that we'll be able to check whether the year of the engine matches the year of the lorry it's from um, or whether the engine year is way off and therefore has probably been replaced at some point during its life. So now let's find out how old this engine is. On a Gardner engine, the engine number can normally be found in a few locations. The best one to use is the engine number stamped on the crankcase, um, as it's obviously very difficult to change this number. However, it can also be found on the insertion plate for the injection pumps, now on this engine you'll see it says 186107 um, and also normally on a type plate that is on the front of the left hand side injector pump. But as both of these parts are relatively easily changed um, and may well have been during the engine's life, it may not match the crankcase so you might get a false engine number because it might have come from another engine. So on this engine, the engine numbers match on the insertion plate, type plate on the front of the injector pump, and the crankcase. So this adds evidence to that the engine has not been to bits as all the numbers match. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the engine number into the search feature on our website. Um, the link is in the description below. And find out whether this matches the 1972 year of the lorry it's from. And as we can see, it's giving a build period of the first half of 1972. So that matches the vehicle's age. If you've liked watching this video, please consider liking and subscribing. In the next video, we'll be taking a closer look at the engine to see if it's possible to get it running before we start taking the engine apart for inspection. 